Hello and welcome to Great Tech Widget 3912 video series. My name is Sishu and I'm part of DVCOM support and training team. In this video, I'm going to show it to you how to do the basic setup of your Widget 3912 router. And in my previous video, we discussed about port setup. Then after that, we discussed about how to upgrade the latest firmware. So now I just want to show you my case study and based on that, I'm going to show it to you how to do the basic setup. So before you are going to jump into your configurations, always it's recommend to do some basic setup of your Dratic router. Let's go and see. So access your Dratic router with the default IP address, which is 192.168.1.1. Enter the default username admin, default password admin, then click login. So it's always important before you are going to do your basic configurations, do some basic setup. So to do the basic setup, go to the system maintenance. Then after that, you can see here, there is the administrator password. So it's always recommends that don't keep the default passwords because anyone can access your device without your notice and they do the changes so that you know, we don't want to do these kind of things. So simply what you can do, at first time when you log in, go to the system maintenance menu. Then after that, click on administrator password. So it will asking you, what's your old password? The old password is admin and the new password. So I'm going to give you a new password. Then confirm the password. Then after that, go down. Then you can click OK. Now password change successfully. So for testing purpose, you can log out and click on admin, type username as admin and type password is admin. Let's go and see that whether it's going to accept or not. So the username or password you entered is incorrect. So type the username again and enter the correct password. There you go. Then after that, you can go to the system maintenance. Then you can see here, there is a configuration backup. So in case, if you want to take the configuration backup, it's always recommends that after you did your configurations, go to the system maintenance and click on the configuration backup and click on the backup and download the backup. So that in worst case, if something wrong with your router or something happened to you, maybe you did the hot reset or something so that you can just restore your backup. And in case if you want to restore, you can just click on the go to the system maintenance and click on the configuration backup and select your restore. Then after that, you can just upload the file, then automatically it will get restored. And one more important thing is that time and date. So you can see here the current system time it's showing 2023 March 20 something it's showing right and it's directly synced with your NTP server but make sure that whenever you are going to sync your Dratec router directly to your pool.ntp.org like your NTP server make sure that your Dratec router has to connect to the internet. So now I just want to change Okay, the date and time according to me so that what you can do in case if you want to select as a browser time You can do that the time zone you can see here. I just want to do the time zone here So plus four so I am belongs to Dubai so that I can select this and after that click OK And after that once it's connect to the internet it will get sync automatically and in case you can see here one more interesting step you can just click on the management and this is everybody has to understand guys. You can see here the default port for HTTP is port number 80. So whenever you are trying to access your Dratec router through HTTP, the default port which is going to use port number 80. For HTTPS, it's going to use 443. But here one thing you need to check here, HTTP server, okay, for example, is by default it's going to enforce your HTTPS. You get my point, even if you try with HTTP, it's going to enforce to HTTPS. So for example, I want to show you to you something. The default port for HTTPS is 443, but I want to change it into different port number. Let's go and do that. I want to make it as a 8443.
okay then you can just go down then after that click ok then it will ask you to reboot say ok so it's going to take some time and I'm going to pause this video until it's going to come back so it will take 25 seconds to come back so it has come back let's go and log in with username admin and password is admin so now click on login so you can see here the password you entered it's a long oh I changed my password So I can able to log in now. So now what I'm trying to do, I want to log in with HTTPS. So for that, what I'm going to do guys, just type HTTPS and type the IP address of your Dratec router, which is 192.168.1.1, right? Say enter, then it will throw you an error. So to avoid that, what you are going to do, you need to put colon, then after that you can type 8443 that's the port number to access through HTTPS okay just wait for a few seconds so it's actually rotating 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 see it throw an error the site can't be reached why because if you are trying to access through HTTPS we have changed the port the default port that's why it's not able to access so now what I am trying to do HTTPS colon slash slash 192.168.1.1 colon 8443 say enter now you can see here your connection is not private i know that click on advance then proceed now you guys can see here this is https access then type username is admin password is new password say login so now you are using a through https even if you want to change the port number for http you're always welcome to do that that's not a problem so for that what you can do just you can go here on the management and you can do it but again I just want to mention one more thing guys hello management from internet what is this so for example this is actually not recommended guys this is not recommended at all but some customers maybe for emergency purpose what we are going to do we are going to enable the management which means whatever the van interface you know it got the public IP or something you just enable this then after that you can just give them the public IP so that you can able to access your Dratec router from outside this is for emergency purpose but personally I never recommend this in case if somebody want to access you can always create SSL VPN so that you can give the username and password so that they can able to access it that's always is important and one more thing is that for HTTP also I want to change the port number okay make it 8080 that's the port number I want to change then click on OK now say ok it's going to reboot now and it will come back in few seconds so meanwhile I'm going to pause this video so it has come back now let's log in with the username and password but before that I want to try with HTTP colon slash slash 192.168.1.1 first we will try with without port number say enter now you can see here it's rotating rotating after that it will throw you an error so make sure that we should use the port number 8080 so that's always important guys okay just wait for a few seconds yeah I got an error so now what you are going to do colon 8080 say enter now you can able to see the access so now this is your HTTP access so type the username as admin password as admin say login oh sorry guys admin and password is that's it. so that's the beauty of that and also you can see here there is a system maintenance and in case if you want to put a login page greeting so you can just put your login page greeting that's up to you but I don't want to keep anything but simply I just want to leave it like this but in case if you want to change or if you want to enable that just enable this then after that you can just write whatever message you want to write you can write it so that whenever you are going to log in your Dratec router it will show you a nice message and one more thing is that SNMP in case if you want to enable SNMP you can just enable the SNMP and you can do it as well and also the management as I told you that if you want to change the default ports for your telnet or HTTP or HTTPS you can change it also the choice is yours guys and also in case if you want to reboot 
you can update you know if you want to reboot the router you can reboot it in case if you want to wipe out the, all the configurations you can do it as well okay and one more interesting thing that i just want to mention you can see here the maximum connections so by default the maximum connection is 300000 in case you want to increase 500 by default 312 is going to support up to 1 million connections guys that's the beauty of that so in case if you want to increase that connections you can just go here on the system maintenance in the system maintenance just go to the max connection and select 1 million that's the beauty of that okay and one more interesting thing is diagnostics so the diagnostics is nothing but in case if you want to see the routing table so that just click on the routing table most of the time we want to check whether my detect router is able to access the internet or not so in case if he is not able to access the internet why what's the reason whether the routes are there or not in my routing table so that you can just go here and see, click on the routing table you can see the routes and also if you want to see the ARP cache you can able to see it ARP entries and in case if you want to ping diagnosis you can just go here and you can do the ping diagnosis in case if you want to do the trace route you can do it or in case if you want to go to the syslog explorer so that you can able to troubleshoot it maybe the VPN is not coming up due to some reasons Maybe the firewall policies are not working. Maybe due to some reasons, the WAN connection is not happening. So that if you want to troubleshoot, just go to the diagnostics. Then after that, click on Sys Explorer. Then select the type. Then after that, it's automatically generating logs. Through the logs, you can able to get some idea. And also, if you have issue with high availability, you can check from here what is the status, whether it's going to sync or not. So there's a lot of things, guys. You can explore it in the Dretec. So especially whenever you are going to troubleshoot, either you can go with the diagnostics and you can troubleshoot. And in case if you want to do a basic setup of your Dretec router, you can just go to the system maintenance and from there you can able to set it up. So in my next video, I'm going to do the basic setup of your Vigor 3912 router according to our case study number one. So it's always important guys, as I told you earlier, Initially, I have shown to you the port setup. Then after that, we upgrade the latest firmware. Then after that, we did the basic setup. So it's better to understand the customer requirement. Then after that, you can prepare one nice topology. Then after that, you can proceed for your configurations. Don't directly jump to the configurations and come back again. Oh, I forgot to upgrade the latest firmware. Oh, I forgot to change the port setup. Because, you know, these kind of things, it will make you, you know, increase your time and you cannot finish your project in in time so it's always go through a proper process so that you can close your project very quick and it's very easy for you to do your own configurations on that okay for sales related please send us an email sales at datawise.com for support please send us an email support at datawise.com i hope this has been informative and i would like to thank you for viewing